All right, Caleb, we'll be coming down in three, two. We are live at SEC Media Days, brought to you by WorkTrucksLLC.com, WorkTrucks with an X, LLC.com, and our good friends at Vol Auto Group, uh, VolAuto.com, VolAuto.com. Joined by Ron Ball, who happens to be Ron Slay right here, yeah, joining yeah, us yeah. now, talking basketball. We're in person, SEC. too. We're yes, in person. In person. Yeah. Uh, so you can uh, check out my cologne, which is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ryan, let me let me ask you about this uh, whole, whole SEC Media Days. Is you've been here for a while. Mm-hmm. You you've been doing this thing for uh, a few years. So just in general, what what have been your your takeaways from the first few days? I love it, man. This um first of all, the venue is great. Um, coming to Dallas, it is bigger. Last year, I think in Nashville, it was a little snug, a little bit, a little tighter, a lot more space here in, uh, in Dallas. Atlanta is the same thing. You get a lot of space, but I think, man, the the most the coolest thing about this is, you know, you got football on the surface. Same thing for SEC basketball media day. Um, you got basketball on the surface. Being able to have these one-on-ones with analysts, players, coaches, they come they come to this situation disarmed. So it's a lot of just talk. There's no games been played yet, so everybody hopes are good. So you got good confidence coming in. You talk about your team, talk about what you did in the offseason, and you get to get up under the surface of, what makes them tick? I think that's one of the most important things. I mean, you get to watch somebody and find out who they are behind the coach, behind the player. Like, what's your ritual? Like, what's your thing that you get away from the game? That's always interesting to me as a player. Things that I wanted to share. So I kind of ask them things that I would want people to know about me if I'm trying to get my personality out, how my character is, if I'm trying to show you something that you didn't see during the season. So that's the coolest thing about being in this environment. Can I, I do want to switch up with basketball a little bit if I can. Which one? Right? Can I do that? Yeah. Dalton Connect's pretty good. Oh. Uh, he's <laughs> a uh, Summer League, he's doing pretty good. Yes. I don't know why that guy dropped. Yes. Um, I, wow. It's a knock. Um, it's just a really, really special guy that yeah. I think his impact on the program is going to be felt. For no, no question about it. I think, man, when you look at it and you talk about retiring jerseys and things of that nature, I know no one person that can come in and play a year get the accolades he did and it being questioned, should he retire as a ball? I'll put that jersey, jersey Yeah, I'm going to be honest, man. Because when you think about his impact, it was different. Um, it wasn't expected. Um, you heard about him, the way he was getting along with his teammates, but to go out and do the form the way he did in those games, at those times, when it was a little bit stagnant, coming off the years before, when you didn't get a guy like uh, Tyreek Key to kind of deliver uh, not picking on him, but just anybody that came in the portal, they didn't deliver like that. He came in was only two unanimous All Americans last year. One was the back to back college player of the year. The other one was the Tom Connect. Like it's it's different, man. And I think you see it. Um he believes in himself. I thought the boost that he needed was through Coach Barnes. That 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 situation, that family of guys pushing him every day, sharpening his skills, letting him know you can play on this level, being physical with him. Um, and it all showed, showing down to some league. I saw them earlier when they were in Utah or Colorado, wherever they were at first. No, they were in Sacramento. And um, people were like, man, he's not performing like that. He was missing shots. I said, man, just wait until he get to Vegas. You got to understand that these summer league games, everybody's out there vying for a job. He has a job. So why would he need to press? That's a great point. Once when everybody else calms down and he rises to the top, Get those outbursts like you're seeing from him and Reed Shepard. Reed Shepard been killing too. So I think these guys, man, their IQ, um, they play the way they play. And you got to you gotta give a tip of the cap, man, to the development that Tennessee had. Guys like Rod Clark, all those guys pouring into him and the players pouring into him and letting him be who he is. What did you learn about that coaching staff last year in a late eight run that maybe you didn't know before last year? Um, <clears throat> I ask the hard questions. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. I, I think, man, what I did know is um, you always hear about coaches having belief in their guys. You got to see it last year with them. Um, when you look back at certain situations um, in the SEC tournament, for them. it was a little bit of a falter um, going against Mississippi State. I felt like they got pumped. Um, but to be able to respond the way they did the next week in the NCAA tournament, and go on that run, that showed a lot. That showed a lot through character. That showed a lot next man up, um, them believing in each other. And really that it's not about me, it really, really showed. I thought the worst thing that could have happened was Santiago um, getting sick. 
not being able to get out there and produce and perform the way he wanted to. I thought that would have that would have added a different dimension to him, and I think that would have got them past Purdue. But you know, um, they lost to they lost to a good team. Um, and Purdue they went on to the national championship. But this this coaching this coaching staff is is a real good, one. and I thought it was going to be very difficult to replace. Rob Lanier, Des Oliver, Swartz, like that group, the special. Mm -hmm. This group, from their own identity, with Ganey, Rob Clark, Lewinsky, like all these guys, Brian Lynch moving up now, Lucas Campbell still being involved. Like they got, they got some younger, good group of guys too. And I think Coach Barnes, the reason he's able to be who he is, is because of that staff and the belief that they have, and they, they show, they show who they play. I was also impressed by his his willingness to be flexible. Mm -hmm. and finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> He's not typically a guy no. who will run ISO but yeah. with Dalton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there was a lot of situations where <clears throat> I think he wants to do that, but you got to build that trust up in him. And I think the way Dalton was able to build it quickly, um, I thought the cheat code that they had was going overseas, being able to play and grow close, not only the players, but the coaches too. Because on the foreign land, all you got is each other. As far as the conversation, what it's gonna be, you gonna eat together, um, you go you get travel together, you go sightseeing together, everything's together. That spills back over when they get back over here. So I thought that um, what you were able to see in Coach Barnes, that was a byproduct of what they were able to do in Italy, carried it back over here. And at some point, you gotta evolve. The game's evolving, the players evolving. Um, the way you talk to guys has evolved. He does. He, does that, so why not evolve your play? Getting up and down faster. Uh, we need a bucket, give it to a guy, let him go get a bucket, and we'll worry about the rest later. So um, kudos to him. Kudos to him, you know, like not getting left behind. Last thing I got for you, what did, what did you think of the Lady Ball hire? Loved it. Loved it. I thought coming into it, I gave um, Danny White benefit of the doubt because he, he looked at his track record. He hasn't made a bad hire, so why would he start now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially – with Vitello, how he's doing in the program, Coach Barnes doing in the program, being able to pull the trigger quickly with um, with Kelly and letting her go, I thought was because you could feel it, like something needed to change, um, and he brought a newfound energy, kind of like he did with Hype, up to up up style tempo, playing, need more athletes. She went and got the top two out of it, and it made it made it do what it do. I love I love it. Stuff. It's good to be together. It's good to see you. Always, Ron. man. Appreciate it, brother. Ron Slade. My Check man. him out. 104.5 The Zone. We love him. Former ball off the explore. So I, I have to admit, when Ron Slade first said retire Dalton Connects jersey, I'm thinking to myself, no. And then when it went through my head, he didn't even have to sell it to me. I thought, definitely yes. Um, why wouldn't you retire his jersey? Can you retire somebody's jersey that was just there one year? Theoretically, you could. I don't know the standard for retired jerseys for Tennessee basketball. You know, like I, and you you've talked this you've talked about this before. They can make up standards to have jerseys yeah. retired. Can I give um, you the best comparison I can come up with? Maybe sure. other than one, I, there's a lot of one and doneers. I mean, are they? The one and done guys in Kentucky, they're not retiring jerseys left and right, no matter how good they are. But I'll give you one example of a guy who didn't play a long time. He just played two years because he redshirted his freshman year, played as a redshirt freshman, then a sophomore, then went to the NFL. That was Mike Vick. So that's a short duration, but a huge impact on the program. Yeah, that's very true. That's a great point. Can we say so Dalton Connect? would retire Vic's number. Did, can we say Dalton Connect did for Tennessee, though, what Mike Vick did for Virginia Tech? I mean, that, but, that that's a... Well, but where's Tech now? I mean, they were more competitive and relevant because of Vic. So, yes, I agree with you, but it hasn't been long-lasting. Well, it was for a while. I mean, don't forget that after Mike Vick, Mike Vick left in 99. Mike Vick's last year was 2000, okay? They go to the ACC in 2004, and they won the ACC in 2004, 2007, 2008, 2010. They had top 10 finishes in 2000 in all four of those years. I, I just – so, like – and they have a top 10 finish in 2005. So, Mike Vick had a lasting impact. They carried Virginia Tech through a decade, and Dave honestly made them the class of the ACC for a while. 
uh, and they were the Big East when Michael Vick was there, to be fair. But does Virginia Tech even get into the ACC if Michael Vick's not there? Or are they one of those teams like when the Big East folds, are they stuck in limbo and having to go join like the American or something like that? So let me leave you with this. You would or would not retire Dalton Connects jersey. I would. I would. And here's why. Tennessee has made two elite eights in history. They did it this year with Dalton Connect and All-American leading them. They won the SEC regular season title. A legitimate argument can be made that in terms of accomplishments, this was the greatest season in Tennessee basketball history. And Dalton, and it wasn't because of a collective team. Like the 2009 team that also went to the Elite Eight, the 29-2010 team, Dave, you covered that team, that Bruce Pearl team. There wasn't one All-American. They were just super deep. They were loaded. They went 11 deep that year. And this was Dalton Connect centric. Caleb, I think Ron nailed it. I don't even think it's close. I think you you played it out in your head. I did it while talking to Ron. I don't even think it's close. I think you retire a jersey because of everything that you just said. And let's not forget, if not a, for a guy born to be seven feet tall and an absolute aberration of the game and what the game is now, Dalton Connect would have been player of the year. If not for Zach yeah. Eaton being just this absolute difference maker, you're talking about Dalton Connect being the player of the year. So I think that uh, certainly carries a lot of weight. 